Do you remember what you loved doing as a child? I loved putting stuff together. I remember whenever my dad buys something that needs to be assembled, he will call out to me to help out. I find that creating connects me to my inner child. Creativity is this form of expression that feeds my soul, but the challenge for me is staying creative. I wasn't always a creative person. I rediscovered my love for creating in my mid-twenties. Discovering my love for art in different forms like knitting, crocheting, clay work, playing music, painting, etc. makes me feel something that I hadn't felt in a while. I find myself wanting to step out of my comfort zone to learn something new, like trying out a new recipe or reading a book. There's always something for me to learn and I want to consume, consume, consume so that I can create. The more I create, the more I love myself. Just recently, I learned about acetylcholine. <laughs> now stick with me on this one. Acetylcholine is a brain chemical that may help us encode memories easier in order to store and retrieve them easier. Boosting this chemical may improve our ability to reference and combine new and old ideas for our creative endeavors. So boosting acetylcholine can help boost creativity. Now a good way for me to boost acetylcholine is by getting regular exercise and enough sleep, but frankly your girl needs to work on that. So for me to stay creative, I have to learn new things and take care of my body. And today, I'll be learning to knit a sweater. I haven't actually talked about this yarn. It's Wool Ease, the Lion brand. What I love about this yarn is it's machine washable and dryable, so I can easily just chuck it in the washer. Also, I love that it's thick. It's a size six yarn, so it works up pretty quick. I think this took me maybe 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to switch to a bigger needle to work the body. This is in Navy Blue Marine Air Force. They recommended a 12 millimeter needle, but I think I'm going to size up and use a 15 millimeter just so it works up faster. I woke up this morning and I'm not feeling this at all. I want it baggy. It's not giving that baggy effect, so I'm gonna start over again. One eternity later. Give you a status update. I have finished not just one, but two sleeves. And they're exactly how wide I want them. I love the stitches, I love the color combo, so with that being said, I'm going to call it a night. One day later. Not too bad for a beginner knitter. So this is the front side and this is the wrong side, but I actually like it. I like the stripe effect. Not too bad. I'm 
I'm just joining my shoulders here and oh my god, that seam is perfect. Okay, so I just finished the left shoulder. This is the neck of the sweater, but I'm going to move on to the right shoulder before I go on to do the, the neckline. It's going to be like a very short turtleneck slash collar. Uh, but yeah, I'm so impressed by this, by the way. You guys, it's done. Like, it's completely done. Do you want to see? <laughs> guys, I cannot, like, this is so cute. This is literally, like, the best sweater, hands down, in the entire planet. Seriously, I made this. Look, I made this. Now, there's some imperfections, but, you know, we're not going to talk about that. I'm just going to talk about how soft this feels, how warm it feels, and how like it fits really nice. Now, oh, I'm just going to step on here so you can see. I would have loved this to like really like a little bit longer, but this is cute too. Oh, God, I can't. <laughs> the colors are giving. The stitches are giving. The feel giving the fit is giving like it's baggy it's loose it's comfy it's oversized you know it's just okay that's enough <laughs>